which professional roommate group would win? The Derby Boys or what I'm calling the BPT Boys? That's what we're going to talk about right now. If you like this kind of content, click that like and subscribe button, become part of the team and family. And let me say thank you again. It's been overwhelming. It's just amazing. It really is amazing. I am dumbfounded and humbled and everything that y'all watch these videos. And let me just say, let me just say thank you. I appreciate it. It's, it's incredible. But thanks to all the people who are new members, who are commenting all the time, who are new subscribers, I really do appreciate it. But if you're not one, you should be because it's free. So click that button and become part of the team. These days in professional bass fishing, you have groups of anglers who room together. Some of them room at a hotel, one or two of them will get together. Some of them have three or four guys, some of them have more. But there are a couple roommate groups that have just taken over. And the best thing about these roommate groups is not only, not only can they make content for their YouTube channel and stuff like that, but they can talk about what's going on on the water. And while some people might not think it's an advantage, it is an advantage. You get to have three or four people that you're very comfortable with, that you trust, that have your back. And when those groups get together, they really can dominate. And it led me to a question. Which roommate group is the best out of these two? You have the Derby Boys, which is Matt Robertson, Seth Fighter, Corey, and Chris Johnston. Then when you look at the BPT and MLF, you have Jacob Wheeler, Dustin Connell, you have Mark Daniels Jr., and Adrian Avina. And when you look at that group, that's really a good group. But if we had a chance to put them together and compete, which group would win? And before we get into what I think could make a good one-day tournament and some of the, the rules behind it, let's talk about where these guys are right now in 2024. And again, this is hypothetical. This is just something to have fun with. But I thought, really, I think it might be fun. But you have to tell me who you think would win. But wait till we talk about what the tournament will be here shortly. Now, when you take Wheeler and you take Dustin and you take Mark Daniels and you take Adrian Avina. Those guys are really amazing anglers. Jacob Wheeler's been the number one angler for I don't even know how long. Consecutively, it seems like years. Dustin Cannell has been seventh in the world rankings. You have Adrian Avina, who's 26th. And as of right now, Mark Daniels Jr. is 47th in world rankings. When we look at the Derby Boys world rankings, you got Matt Robertson, who is 62nd. Seth Fighter, who's 109. Corey Johnston is second, and Chris Johnston is ninth. And that group of anglers has made about $3.7 million in their career, whereas the BPT boys have made almost $7.4 million. And this is almost like BPT versus elites. It's what we've all wanted. It would be great to have one tournament where all of the guys get together and we get to hit and find out who is the best. I know I'd watch it, but I don't know what you'd think. But how much fun would it be to see a roommate battle? We all recognize Jacob Wheeler is the best angler. Dustin Cannell is absolutely ridiculous. And you have Adrian Avina, who's been wonderful the last few years. And Mark Daniels Jr. is really a great angler, too. Then you have Matt Robertson, and who's, you know, up and down, but still a great angler. Seth Fighter, recent a Angler of the Year winner. And then you have Chris and Corey Johnston, who are... Quite possibly the best smallmouth anglers on the face of the earth. Now, this is how I would do it if they both agreed to do this. Have some sponsor put up the money and the the roommate the roommate group, whoever wins or has the most fish, wins that money. And I think it should be the five biggest fish for each person catch, weigh, and release right there. I also don't think we should tell the anglers where we're going. I think it should be a one day or two day tournament. I don't think there should be any practice, but I think what you have to tell the anglers is say, yep, you wanna know what, on this weekend, don't plan anything. And then on Wednesday of that week, they realize that's the day that they can get in their trucks and go to the place that we pick. Again, this is all speculation and fun. But then they don't have time to practice, they don't have time to look, but make it someplace where it's middle of the country, where you can have a smallmouth fishery and a largemouth fishery. They can use their forward-facing sonar, or they can go to the banks and catch largemouth. I think if we had some sort of way of doing it, 
and it would be a hell of a lot of fun. If we could put this together, where should they go? You tell me in the comments below. Also, who would you pick? What group? Would you pick the BT BPT boys or would you pick the Derby boys? Quite honestly, I think it would be absolutely hilarious to watch. I think they don't need to make the money and don't put up any money. I think they should be talking amongst themselves and go, look, let's just do this and have fun. Let's do it during our off season. Let's pick a spot, have someone go out there, invite eight people to catch way and release and put them as marshals and have these guys do something and give back to the community and see who's the best, who's the best roommate group. Because honestly, those eight guys rooming together are why those eight guys are always in the top. There's something to be said that good roommates help you. As much as it's crazy to think about and to say, these guys have done exceptional because they're able to help each other. And they have each other's back. They're brothers. So where would they go? Who are you picking? That's what I want to know. So comment below and tell me what you think. Remember, take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. I'll talk to you very soon. Cheers and thank you.